talk about returning to the squat postpartum. I want you to growl onto a doorway and set your feet hips width apart. Make sure that your ribcage is stacked over your hips. And I want you to hold onto the door. So you're pulling on the door, all right? This enables me to feel my abs a little bit, all right? I'm putting tension here. I'm going to sit my butt back, keeping my ribs stacked over my hips, and I'm gonna lengthen my glutes as much as I can, okay? Now, I'm getting just below 90 degrees right now, my pelvis isn't tucking under. I'm gonna contract through my glutes and exhale, come back up. Notice how my rib cage is still over my hips, all right? I'm pulling here, keeping the ribs over the hips, lengthening the glutes as I descend into the squat, and I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna squeeze the glutes and exhale, back up. Now, you can play along with, play around with a double exhale, all right? Or you could inhale down and exhale up. I found that after two babies, double exhale works better for me and I don't feel anything in my lower back and I'm able to turn my abs on, okay? That exhale lifts my pelvic floor automatically and I don't have to think about it, all right? So, pausing before the pelvis tucks under, squeeze those glutes and exhale back up. Big toes down. My knees aren't tracking forward. I'm really lengthening through the glutes, contracting and standing. All right. Notice again that alignment: the rib cage over hips. I'm not thrusting my hips forward. All right. 